Hi, welcome back to another painting video. Today we're gonna do a little bit of a weird one. I'm coming to you from the past. Um, well, it's always the past, but you know, the past before I even built this model. And we're building Arnim Zala today and painting him. Um, to even build the model though, you have to paint this face first because the whole front of his body is one clear plastic piece and it has like a window that goes over this face and covers it. So you won't be able to touch this face once you put this model together. And you'll have to mask this when you paint, when you prime it. So I would either suggest cutting this window out, which is I think what they should have done in the first place or provided you with a masking sticker to do it. Um, or do it this how I'm doing it right now. So we're gonna get started here. We got our nice black primer base here and it's all nice and dry. Uh, and we're gonna go to a medium sea gray. Uh, I was just, I knew this, this model had a plastic piece on it, like a clear plastic window. Um, but I didn't realize how, I guess, I mean, it's obvious, I think, thinking back on it now that, yeah, of course you had to paint the face first before you put it in, but I don't know, just weird, just a weird decision. They really thought like no one's gonna buy it like this guy, so they're not gonna <laughs> paint him. So we're gonna do a slap chop, we're gonna medium sea gray over the top of this, just kind of get a dry brush, get the gray on it, and then really kind of bring it down on the model. Like that, just to get those little areas to pop out a little bit. And then we're gonna do the same with a matte white paint right here. Or white, whatever you have, gloss white, doesn't matter. I just use matte white because that's also a primer that I use and this matches it, so. So we'll get that, we'll do our, wipe most of it off on the napkin. And then same direction, just kind of going down on him like this his face just to get those areas to pop a little bit like that so now you need to wait for this to dry before you yeah but we did kind of a dry brush and it was pretty light so i have my air my air, air compressor here my little portable one and i don't have an airbrush plugged into it so i'm just gonna turn it on and just kind of air off the front just to help it dry a little bit faster So that's probably nice and dry. And then we're gonna take our Ethermatic Blue contrast paint and we're gonna put that over the top of this. Um, just get it nice and light on the brush here. You can even dab some of it off in here. And then just put it on. And do it a little bit darker. Getting some, still wasn't quite dry, but it's okay. This is really a base coat anyway. So now we'll take a smaller brush. And we're gonna take that white and get it into the eyes here. Just to make him all spooky. We can fix that too. And then we're gonna take some of that other medic blue and mix it with the white that we have on our palette here to create kind of a highlighty paint so we can get 
get these, kind of glaze the color on it a little bit more. Same thing here with the eyebrows, like that. And I'm going to take this and just clean it up in there. Up. This eye is a little funky. It does have like a lower lid here. So maybe that's what's causing that kind of weirdness in there. But we can also just kind of pull some of this back over the whites just to make sure that they're not pure white. And we'll go back to our matte white. Try to fix that eye a little bit better. But I'm gonna start fiddling with it too much just when it gets a little, little messy. But I think it's just kind of more up. I think we'll just go over this side just to kind of keep them the same color. And just a little bit here for the lip. All right, cool. So now, once this is done, you can go paint the model, you can go build the model. So I'm gonna go do that, and we'll see you guys in a bit. And we're back. So now he's built, his head is glued inside here, and this is primed and kind of slap chopped. Um, we did hand prime this, so we just painted it with black paint. We didn't, I didn't go in here and spray this and mask this because masking this was a lot harder than I thought. I tried using, I use Silly Putty usually and that did not work out. It was just sliding off. Um, so we did it this way. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some metallics, like a dry brush with the gunmetal paint um, on the legs because the legs are metallic. And we'll also get some on the belt, I think is what I want to be metallic. Um, so we're gonna do that first before we go into it with any of our other coats. So do this and then we'll just kinda get this on. You don't have to dry brush this, you could just full on paint it on if you wanted, but probably get a little bit better result if we just dry brush it on and we can work faster this way too. So. And it doesn't matter anything that we hit right now because nothing is this color and everything is dark, a little darker than this. So, be okay. Now we'll get the belt here. So just get it here. Maybe some of these back bits. It doesn't matter right now because we're just kind of feeling it out. Just be careful around the glass there. Mm. 
then we'll get this hose, this little power tube here. And then we'll also get some of this little, this little circle piece right here on the controller that he has, the little top part here. Let's get those. Oh, kitty. So that's good. So now we're going to move on to our yellow. So there's a bunch of different versions of this co of his costume, and you can kind of do it however you want. Um, I've seen it where his shirt and legs are yellow, um, and but we're going to do it where the shirt and legs are orange, and like the little details are yellow. So that's what we're gonna go through right now. So we're just gonna get our little size one brush here from Windsor and Newton. And we'll get our nice bright yellow contrast, our Imperial Fist. And we'll hit all the parts that are going to be yellow on this guy. So let's give this a good shake. And we'll get going here. So in here is yellow, this whole like thing on here. So we can just paint over this right now because the, the bulk of this is gonna be a different color and it's gonna be a lot darker. So this is fine that we just do this right now for that to make sure we get it. Then we're also doing the around the boots. And like the little thingies here, the little little thingies that he's got going on his boots here. We'll just do that. It's fine because it's going to be purple, all that stuff. So it's a lot darker, and it will definitely paint over the top of this, no problem. And my cat's going crazy. getting all the sides we can and we're gonna highlight these later with some paint so it's just kind of a nice base coat that we're doing right now now the belt and we do the metallic underneath so that the belt is metallic and that that kind of shine shows through on that. That's why we also did the legs metallic as well because they are also going to be painted with the contrast paint and that will show through. So there's like some good stuff, cool stuff that you can do with some contrast paints. The eye will be yellow. So just paint that while we're here. And then there's these little rings around the hands that are also yellow. These little bands. So just make sure you grab those. I would say if you're doing a yellow body for him, like clothes, I would paint these orange. But you don't got to. You gotta do anything you don't wanna. And I think that's all of the yellow. Cool. So now we can go to the orange for. No, we should probably do the. I don't know. Should we do the purple or the orange? If I do the orange right now, we can avoid some of the purple. I think the orange is probably the better play right now. So let's do that. Let's get our orange contrast paint now, which is this Griffhound orange. I 
And we'll start with the upper body just to give the lower body some time to dry, some more time. So we'll get his uniform here, his little science suit. You don't have to go this heavy either with this. You could go lighter if you wanted to and just kind of thin this out with some water or the contrast medium that they have. Or you can just use an orange paint if you wanted to. You don't gotta use contrast, but these colors are those colors that are not fun to paint with usually because they are very transparent. Um, so using them as contrasts kind of saves us all that headache from having to get multiple coats and all that stuff on them. So it's up to you. But we'll get in there and we'll get the side here, even though it's dark, but it's fine. Let's get so it's gotta, you gotta kind of figure out the parts that are his purple parts and what part are is his shirt. So we're just kind of wandering around here. Figuring out, the purple is not a contrast paint, so you don't have to worry too much about painting over areas. Same thing if you were doing yellow, you don't have to worry because the purple is still not a contrast paint. I don't. I think the purple contrast paint it works very great. Well, it's not the kind of purple that I want, let's put it that way. It works, it works great as a contrast paint, but it's not the purple that I want. It's not dark enough. So let's get... Let's finish up his shirt here. Make sure we're getting all the way around. On top, the seams on this model are pretty big. Um, you can kind of play them off as a jacket seam, but yeah, they are pretty big. And you can gap fill if you want. This is green in there. Not green, it's orange. So put the orange in there. Cool, and then we get the legs. So just be going over there, try to avoid the those yellow spots that we did already. You don't want to get the orange on top of the yellow. Here's kitties making noise in the hallway. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. It's very cute. I'm debating if I should play Cabal or if I should play Hydra. He's in both, and a lot of the characters that I'm using are in both. I just wanted to use the Ultron with the, the minions, so that's kind of why I went Cabal. But I could also use the Red Skull with the minions if I went the other I mean, I could use it in this army too, but you know. Okay, so that's our orange. Now let's go to the purple. And that's going to be pretty much the rest of this model. Um, so our purple that we're going to use for 
the most for the base coat. If I can find it, it's in here somewhere. It's like a demonette hider, something like that. I forget what it's called. Off the top of my head. Um, oh, we're gonna use this though. Oh, wait, no, we're gonna use that crazy magenta color. We'll be using that later. Where are you, paint? Oh, here you are. You're all the way in the back. Okay. So we're gonna use this demonette hide as our base for the purple. Give it a good shake. Don't know how old this paint is. It's pretty old Games Workshop paint. And we'll scoop some off and put it on our palette here instead of dipping back and forth from there for now. And then we'll start from the boots. So, get in there, start avoiding the, the yellows that we did. Try to leave the black sole on the, on the boot. I think it just adds a little bit extra, extra detail. the middle here. This is the time when you could regret having it on this base already. But you could also try to work around it. You know, give yourself a little challenge with some positioning and stuff while you're painting. It's not always going to be perfect. We'll go here. The thing you really need the most is just good lighting. If you have the lights to see what you're doing, you can paint at any angle. So that's all purple now. Get a little bit more water on our brush, it's a little dry. And we'll get this one. Now you can use any purple, you don't have to use the purple that I'm using. I would. Personally, I would probably prefer even a darker purple than this. Because um, it is very light right now. We are going to wash it with a purple wash. So that will darken it. But if you start darker, it might just pop better in the end. So it's up to you guys what you want to do, as always. If you want to paint this green, paint this green. You can paint him Hydra colors if you wanted, like some yellows and greens. I think that would be cool, like just like yellow, or like the, the armor is green, like that Hydra green color. Might be fun. Okay, now for here, this is gonna be a little bit more tricky. We want to avoid all those areas that we kind of painted already. So it's going to take a light touch, so not pushing very hard with the brush, so that it hopefully doesn't fall into the cracks of where the yellow is. So just make sure you have good good amount of paint on your brush and it's nice and moist. I know people don't like that word, but that's how you're going to have to do this. To 
Just doing light touches with your hands. Like, what does it even look like? <laughs> not terrible. It's not great either though. But we can probably fix it later with our highlights and stuff like that, our highlight paints. We're getting the back sides here. Just a little bit, you don't have to go too crazy with it. But you just don't want like a big black spot behind your model that you could see. Okay, let's get this stuff. Might need a smaller brush for that, just for my confidence. And this brush is probably very capable of handling it, but my hand might not be. For like the other, these little straps that are, Ooh, see like even that, like, <clears throat> just go like that and then just, Take it out with water. But yeah, just be careful getting those. We get the whole top here. Get in the neck. If you don't know who Arnim Zala is, uh, if you watch the, the Disney Marvel movies, he never looks like this and never gets to this point in there. He gets close, um, but not quite. So he's the guy, the scientist that helps Red Skull in Captain America, the first Avenger. He's the one that handles all the, the weapon making and all that kind of stuff and the research on the Tesseract tube, uh, cube. Um, and then after the war, he gets captured by the allies and then he begins working for them. Uh, well, cause Hydra is part of, um, S.H.I.E.L.D. at that, so spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the Marvel movies by this point, um, but you know, he's working for them and you see him in. Captain America in the Winter Soldier movie when Captain America and Black Widow break into the sh the old S.H.I.E.L.D. base and he's a computer at that point because he gets sick and transfers his consciousness into a computer and that's what this is. This is the comic book version of that. Um, he's one of Captain America's primary villains um, through the series, even towards the end, he, he breeds a whole bunch of like mutated Captain Americas 
to fight Captain America. And <laughs> uh, it's a little weird, but it's a comic book. <laughs> but yeah, I think he's cool. I like his design a lot in the comic books. I like this design. It's just, it's just neat to have like this head in a, <laughs> this TV screen on your, on your body. And I don't know, I just think it's cool. And it's like, usually for models, right, you want to draw attention towards the focal point, which would be the head. But in this case, right, the head is the stomach. So we want to make this the main, the main star of the show here. Coated. Trying to avoid this glass as best as we can, or this plastic, it's plastic, it's not glass, but. It's okay, we can go through that later. We can even, maybe, get it off like that, okay. Just a little bit more paint. Need to get these straps covered on the side here. Same thing here. It's a little tight in there. We got it. And then these hands, we want to avoid those yellow bands though. And the purple hand. The grimace. Okay, and then this other hand, same thing. Trying to avoid hitting the little remote in his hand. around get where we can see sorry if you can't <laughs> but we need to get that hand painted there All right. now we switch to a smaller brush to get all these like little um, bands and stuff that he has on him so So for here, get that one. You can see how shaky my hand is. This guy. Now the dog's crying. She wants to play with the kitty cats, but she doesn't play nice. Okay. Oh wait, then we had this part. I see the smaller brush for his arm there. I'm gonna get that purple too. 
Okay, so that's our base coat of the purple. So we can put that away. <coughs> and we'll take our size one brush again. And we will get our purple wash, which is this Druchy Violet shade from Games Workshop. And we are going to apply it onto the purple. So it's gonna get him, it's gonna get us some nice folds and stuff on this and just be careful around our yellows. We're just trying to tint our purple, not any of the other colors that we have going on on this model. Now for the little front part here, you can just kind of put a little dot of it. Oh, the doggy's so sad. This set is doggy. Get in our boots. Get the back here, and then our little loincloth. Or a science loincloth. So now we got to be careful here again. Just trying to get the purple only. I mean, it's probably inevitably going to get in there a little bit, but do your best. And I mean, if you want to, you can take our little brush here and just kind of soak up between the areas to keep it from spreading. Okay, and then for this, do the same thing, just get it on there. Just being careful around the rest of the model, respecting all of the work that we've already done. Pieces back here and around there. And like as much as this is a wash, we're also kind of using it. It's going to shade a little bit of those areas between, but it's also tinting this color to be more in line to what we actually want for this. This color to be that's why i said it was okay to go light and we get the hands avoiding those yellows i don't like that spot right there i'll have to fix that
So that is the purple being dyed now. And now we're going to take that crazy Doomfire Magenta and that's what color his little remote is. It's this crazy pinkish red color. There's nothing spells evil like this color. Like hot pink. Just get, we'll coat the whole thing minus the little top antenna type, type piece right now. Because who knows what's a button and what's a something else. And there's like some buttons on there, so we'll get those. Those are the buttons in there. Okay. So now, while that dries, we can go into some little highlights with this blue-violet for the purple. really like electric purple kind of color. Really good for making areas pop. So definitely kind of want the collar there. Probably like these little guys here. We'll, probably, we'll try to do the inside here. This inside lip. Just to get it to pop out like one more layer. Just have a nice tight grip on the model. Try not to do any hard jumps into it. Just try to keep it smooth, steady. And just do some more kind of highlights around. That probably try to get the um, there's a lip on this as well so let's go with that just get some areas in there too Probably get the tops of those little guys right here, as well as those little straps there, just little bits of them. For the shoe, probably just like the fronts right there. For the head, Try to get like a round of the eye there. And then here, just the tips of the fingers, maybe like the palm of the hand.
probably like a lot of the top of this right here we can get. Let's get the sides. That. The sides here. the tops of this and we'll carry that just there we don't want to go all the way down to the bottom and that and then Maybe just a little bit there. And then for the hand, this hand, I go here. I get the fingers there. Probably like the, the thumb. And then we'll get some blue paint with this Prussian blue. Just to like maybe give this like a little thing there. And then there's like some buttons down there maybe. Let's carry this over like that. And then we'll get some yellow. We'll use this, this moon dust. buttons here like that we'll also get the eye a little bit and then kind of just get like the middle of this some stripes here and the top of the shoe a bit probably get Just a little bit of extra punch. Probably the wrist too, because you can't really see it. So let's just get it. Some yellows. And then for orange, we're gonna take, uh, where is it here? This bright orange. It's a really neon -y orange. And we're gonna thin it a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's already pretty thin because it's orange, but. And then we're just gonna kinda Just brighten up some of the areas. With it. Just like the top. Oop. 
Oops. That was way too much. Let's get a really watery brush here and then kind of help get that out. Same on this side. the leg a little bit. Just like a little line of it. And that's probably like a good spot to call it on this model. But yeah, as always, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Hope you enjoyed our little Arnim Zala trip that we did.